Every week, I pick a good friend of mine and I take them out for lunch. I tell them that we can go wherever they want, just as long as it's not too expensive. I'm Tommy Dasilo, and this is Cheap Lunch. It's a Thursday morning and I'm a little bit hungover. So when Dave Thornton suggests that we get brunch at St. Ali's Cafe in South Melbourne, I leap out of bed and head off in pursuit of some delicious grease to soothe my stomach. You told me all the other comedians took you to chicken and chips, <laughs> Parmesan's. Mm-hmm. I'm not rolling with that shit, okay? Yep. I thought I'm gonna take you to a nice cafe. You got the Mexican, yep. God knows what. Yep. <laughs> I got the salmon, fuck knows what, but looks good. So what is this? This is breakfast, isn't it? This is a breakfast thing that you've gotten here. Do you ever cut loose and sort of make yourself a big brekkie at home? You fire up the eggs and the bacon and all that stuff? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't do, my girlfriend does poached eggs, really good poached eggs, so I still can't do them. Scrambled eggs, that's the stuff. I've worked out how to do a good poached egg. You get a little egg cup or a little, like a tiny dish. Mm. You line that with Glad Wrap. You crack the egg into that and then you wrap that up and you just dump that little parcel into the boiling water. No must, no fuss. That's very good. So there you go, I've just shifted the balance of power in the relationship. Yeah, that's pretty good. She's been holding poached eggs over you. And now, it was the same thing with my girlfriend. She, she could poach them, I couldn't. And now I've worked out how to do it for myself. I'm gonna break up with her this afternoon. <laughs> I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this, it's over. There's so many people that will hate me after stating this. Right. But I can actually tweet in a coffee order. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I'm gonna actually tweet it in and I'll turn up and then the coffee's there. That's great. You're a bit self-conscious about saying this because you think it makes you sound like a braggart. But I think it's actually quite sad because they haven't even given you the phone number. You don't have a direct line. You're on Twitter just like everyone else. Well, I was faxing for four months until I realised <laughs> it was redundant. <laughs> yep. When I first met you, when you first started doing stand-up, you were working at a cafe. Is that correct? It's true. Mm-hmm. I worked at a cafe for four or five years. Mm-hmm. And by rights of being a waiter in a cafe, there's no point in saying how successful are you at it. Because the, <laughs> yeah. the proof is, I've just served you a coffee. I think we all know where I sit in this game of things. Yeah, I've got my own telly show. Any more waters? We all write for waters? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly yeah, yeah. right. Look, before I was going to my 250-seater in Edinburgh, <laughs> I just thought I'd keep it real and serve you guys a couple of focaccias. It's funny you said you drank last night. I went finally to a local pub because I've just moved. And on a Wednesday night midweek, they have dude night. Where, dude night? Yeah, only dudes get half price food. <laughs> Women don't get half price food. Wow. <laughs> yeah. How long's this gonna be going for before it gets shut down, do you reckon? <laughs> Mate, it's awesome. They've had a tuga for too long. Yeah. And <laughs> we, it, it was all dudes. There was, a, there was a handful of girls there, but it was all dudes just ordering $10 parmesan. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, do they have any other things? Do they have like, White Power Fridays or anything like that. <laughs> Bring your own bed sheets. We are. We're not. We're not bringing that along. Okay. Bring the whole clan. <laughs> now uh, you finished the meal. How was it? Man, it was good. It was very rich. Yep. They put some kind of dill or mayonnaise to it. That oh, was, yeah. It was nice. It was nice. The gnocchi was good. I mm-hmm. thought gnocchi for kind of brunch was a bit cool, you jets. Yeah. But no, that was really good. Yeah. It, funnily enough, when it came out, I thought, there's not a lot of that. Yeah. But now I've gotten through a lot. Yeah, mum was amazing. Big, chunky corn fritters. I love a corn fritter. You know what I don't like? I don't like when you go to a breakfast place and they don't have hash browns. You know, give me a corn fritter or a hash brown. You know, I just need something like that in there. I do like a corn fritter. Mm. And they're a good corn fritter yeah. too. Sometimes it just looks like a puck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just a deep fried puck. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. nah, this isn't cutting it, Chief. My hope is that this uh, gets a lot of views and that I can then be on the coffee pre-order tweet hotline. I can just tweet them, Mexican breakfast, thanks. Yeah, I'll yeah. come in tomorrow, fire it up now. Yeah, I want to have how far in advance you can push it through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wednesday next week, probably 10.30. For my 30th in a few years, can I book this place out? <laughs> I tweeted it! 